Welcome Capricorn to reading. I'm Scorpio Moon. Intuition big messages from spirit. So before I begin, I would like to ring the meditation singing bowl to clear space and energies at this time. So if you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and holy angels and the highest and greatest good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right, Cap. So let's go ahead and get into your reading and see where you're at in your love life, right? Um, so let's go ahead and check in on your energy. Spirit, can you please bring forth? my collective Capricorns into this reading. Thank you, Spirit. What can you reveal to me about Capricorns in love? What is their current situation? What can you reveal to me about Capricorn? Thank you. What is the energy and vibration surrounding Capricorn at this time? Mm, you're single. <laughs> So you might be feeling alone, you could be feeling isolated, um, maybe a bit guarded, and we have party. So there could be a celebration or event or a social gathering. I know that um, for this weekend in the United States, it is Father's Day. So it is Father's Day weekend. Is there anything else? Wow, we have a breakup. Wow, walking away, ending separation, it's over. Now, this is automatically what I was feeling. So let's just say, Cap, you're single and you went out to a party and um, you, by chance, uh, cross paths with your lover, okay? Whether or not you're actively dating or um, maybe you guys have already been in separation, I see that um, you're trying to put yourself out there you know, trying to have a good time, and then you saw your person. Okay. Um, Spirit, can you please tell me what is the energy surrounding Capricorn's love interest? So they're in a state of surrender. They're willing to release and let go. They give up. Um, there's a storm warning. So um, there is some drama that's going on. And wow, we have unexpected. So this is what I'm feeling. This is possibly not going to resonate for every Capricorn. But um, it's really unexpected that this person possibly crossed paths with you or saw you at this party. It was unexpected. Um, there was a little bit of drama. And um, I see that you guys want to break up. Okay. Either you guys are dating or you guys have been in separation. Um, I just see that there's like some tension going on. At least that's what it looks like. Let's go ahead and clarify. Spirit, can you please clarify single party and breakup for Capricorn? Can you please clarify these energies for Cap in the present moment? What can you tell me about single party and breakup? Okay, well, we have a love call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. Okay, so let's just say you're single and then your lover contacts you, okay? They tell you that they love you, they miss you, okay? Um, you're not really dating. Maybe you're just, you know, you're free, right? Um, also, we have lightning and it says sudden change, shocking new surprise, epiphany, upheaval, and transformation. Um I don't know. I mean, this goes hand in hand with the party and the breakup. And also we have a healing heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. I have a feeling like you're trying to heal yourself and then there are some shocking news. Okay, well, maybe um, you found out that your person 
recently broke up with somebody. Okay, that's for some, but for others, like there is something okay unexpected here. So let's see, spirit, can you please clarify unexpected storm warning and surrender for Capricorn's love and trust? Can you please uh, clarify these energies? Thank you, spirit. What else can you tell me about the unexpected storm warning surrender? Okay. That was, that was struggling to get out. So we have kisses, unconditionally loving, giving, receiving affection and falling love. Also, palm trees, stability, security, permanence, and growth. And the chaser, chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment. Mm. I have a feeling, okay, so your person um, unexpectedly um, wanted to give you this sort of affection, okay? I really feel like you might hear from your lover, Capricorn, um, it was unexpected. They weren't even planning on this, okay? Um, but I really feel like there's some sort of contact that's going on. And um, also, we have here the chaser. So uh, I'm not sure if your person still has abandonment issues. Um, that's just something to kind of really be mindful because I see you're trying to heal yourself, you know, trying to put yourself out there going out to parties and stuff. But um you know, as soon as like you get over your um, person over here, it could be twin flame, it could be a soulmate, whatever your ex, um, you know, here, here they come. Okay. Out of nowhere. So I would just like, you're, you're really surprised. Okay. Um, so whoever this person is, I feel that they want stability. They want security. Um, if they were chasing after other people and it turned out to not be a secure relationship, they're looking back at Capricorn because Capricorn, you're dependable. I'm not going to lie. Capricorns are, are really reliable. They're dependable. They go to distance. Um, you know, if you're in need, you know, who can you count on? Capricorn, you know, that's what this feels like. So if all else fails, you know, go back to Capricorn. That That's what this feels like, guys. I don't know. Um, but that's what I'm feeling here. I'm not saying that, you know, they're using you. Um, you know, it somewhat seems a little bit like that. But let's go ahead and see. Because I see that, you know, they just come when you're trying to get over them. And here they come. So we'll see, like, what is your person's real intent? And then what will be the outcome here? So let's find out. Spirit, can you tell me more about this person's energy? Can you tell me more? What are they thinking? What are they feeling? What is it that you both want? And what is the outcome? Capricorn and their love interest. Thank you, spirit. Let's see. Okay, so um, they're waiting for the right time to open up and they're really conflicted because you guys have had disagreements or there could have been third party situations. And I see that with you, Cap, you know, you're thankful for the lessons, right? Um, you're really focused on uh, trying to get out of like competing for this person's affection, attention, because I have a feeling that's what happened before in the past. And, and look, as I was saying that, you know, they're stuck in the past, you know, and they ran from you. Okay. Now, um, previously I saw now they want to chase. So very, uh, typical of twin flame connection, you know, uh, they ran away, you know, and because, they were not in their true authentic self. Okay. They could have been rude towards you, impulsive, 
um, and you just really didn't understand their energy because at one point they were all lovey-dovey and romantic towards you, Cap, but then at some point they turned on you, okay? It's because this person has some sort of trauma wounding, okay? They got stuck in whatever situation that was going on in their life and they bailed, okay? At least that's what I'm hearing from Spirit. Now, with you, Cap, you know, you're trying to do whatever you can to set healthy boundaries you know if this person came off rude towards you you don't want to stand for that you know so i feel like you've learned from the past that's why you know you're single you're really trying to get over this person but i have a feeling that you still kind of love this individual okay because i do sense a bit of resistance and the intention is that they are trying to heal. They are trying to learn from their past mistakes or experiences. And um, they may come off as being cold or non-communicative. So it's kind of ironic, right? Like they open up and then they go cold. So it's very light, hot and cold energy from what I can feel. And then with you, you're in denial. Okay, you're torn. You don't know what to do. So it I, I totally get it. It's like, you know, you're single, you know, you got invited out to a party, you're trying to get over. And then all of a sudden, you you get contact from your person, and you hear that they just broke up with so and so, and um, they're blowing you kisses and stuff. And you're like, Oh, my God, what do I do? Right? Um, you don't know. At least that's what I'm seeing. And um, so I feel like you're really guarded. And so in the outcome, um, so they're going to take it slow. I see that they're going to be um, really conservative when, when they approach you. And it's because they have a lot of fear and anxiety, possibly because of what happened in the past, maybe because they're, they're kind of hurt by their choices and decisions that they made. Okay. Um, in regards to either cutting you off before and now they want to return. Also with you, Cap, you're really open-minded to, um, to just be open. Okay. Because you have anxiety that this person might leave you again. So I definitely feel that, you know, on both sides, both you guys have some sort of like, um, anxiety when it comes to this, I want to call reunion. At least that's what it, uh, it seems like. But I do see for you, Cap, you know, you're willing to take a risk. You're you're willing to put on your A game. I see that you're wearing a button down shirt, right? <laughs> just saying. You know, um, for your lover, they're just um they have a lot that's going on and they are struggling. Um, as a matter of fact, they feel hopeless. So th there could be a little bit of depression or negative thinking going on on their side. You know, maybe they have family, you know, maybe, you know, they can't really offer you love in the sense that you deserve love. You know, it's not really fair that they they uh, open up towards you, check in and then check out. But I see that they're struggling. Okay, you're not happy. Also, you're feeling hopeless. Okay, so um, I see here a separation. So maybe you guys will uh, eventually come into separation again. And um, for some, there's something here about a divorce. So I know that that's not everyone's story. But um, if your person is going through a divorce, they need help. Okay. Um, they're struggling right now. Okay. So I don't know if they're getting help from like friends and family. Um, but there, there's a lot going on from what I can feel going on their side. So yeah, eventually they will become independent and successful. And for you, um, you'll be able to reciprocate. So uh, the karmic may still be in the picture, especially if they have children with the karmic, um, because I, I see that the karmic is still here. But I see that um, this person is is more open to balance everything between, you know, giving uh, the karmic whatever they need and also um, maybe spending physical quality time with you. So I really feel like ultimately, slowly but surely, things will actually progress. Um, I'm seeing here six to nine years. So if that's, you know, someone's timeline, you know, you can take it as it resonates, but it doesn't have to be. Uh, this could actually happen within this month, or it could be like six days or six weeks as well. So let's go ahead and see what messages want to come through. 
I'll put this away. Spirit, what messages does this person want to communicate towards Capricorn at this time? Or the messages that want to come through? Thank you, Spirit. Or the messages that want to come through? You make me happy. <laughs> Please give me another chance. It's hard to admit that I was wrong and I need time to work things out. Just know that I want you. Please be patient. So I really feel like you have been patient, right, Cap? I feel like you've been so patient that, you know, you're you're finally willing to put yourself out there. And then as soon as you do, um, your blast from the past comes back. Um, they may not be 100% ready. Um, for this uh, reunion, but at least I feel you're going to get uh, communication. I feel that they're at the tail end of leaving a karmic situation. At least that's what it looks like to me. Um, I feel like it's energetic that they sense that, you know, you're moving on and um, they've been thinking of you and, and they just want to check in and see how you're, how you're doing. Okay. Um, but I really feel like there's some work that still needs to be done on their end. Eventually, if they're in a, some sort of commitment, I see that they will get out of it. They're on the precipice or the brink of uh, ending that chapter. Um, and then they'll finally um, become sovereign okay, or free from the karmic energy. So um, if your person's going through some sort of karma, um, I feel like it's almost complete. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what is the advice from Spirit. So Spirit, can you please reveal to me clear messages in regards to um, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus? What can you tell me about Capricorn's energy? What is the advice that you have for Cap at this time? Is there any other messages that want to come through? Okay. So we have vision work. It says uh, strengthening your gifts by looking at clouds. And also we have clear cognizance. It just comes to you naturally, uh, uh, naturally know it all. Okay. And also we have astral travel you seek adventure while you sleep and finally uh, manifest make a wish you are a strong manifester so this is really positive cap i really feel like when it comes to love if you do the vision work right i mean i feel like you're doing astral travel you're possibly visiting your your divine counterpart or whoever this person is maybe you're seeing signs and synchronicities um in your dream state and um as you're looking up into the clouds in your state of consciousness um you're starting to see things now obviously um you know uh for me personally i actually uh do sun gazing early in the morning it's just uh, my way of trying to wake up early because I have a hard time waking up at the crack of dawn, guys. <laughs> so I've been forcing myself to wake up early. And early in the morning, I take five minutes to look at the sun. Okay, if the sun is too strong, then I try to look at like a reflection and then allow the actual sunlight into my eyes without staring directly into it and so i did that for five minutes this morning and i kid you not um when i closed my eyes i saw a vision now it wasn't a vision of this lady with an umbrella but it was like a pattern of some sort it looked like clouds okay now when i was looking at the sun today um i didn't see clouds okay i was looking at at the um the sun through trees and uh when i close my eyes i can see the pattern very clearly it was the strangest thing and then um i was experimenting like putting my hand like you know um closing my eyes and then blocking the sun to get a clearer picture of what that pattern was um when i was closing my eyes and it is the trippiest thing guys i don't know if you guys ever tried that but i did and i saw stuff okay <laughs> um 
So I feel that for, for my Capricorns, this is actually a really good time for manifestation. So today we have a new moon in Gemini. Now, as you know, Gemini energy is fickle. And so um, be, be very clear with your thoughts and then uh, manifest those intentions into the universe, okay? Um, and I really feel like whoever this person is, you might hear or see them very soon. Okay, that's what I have. So I really hope that that was helpful. Let me know. Thank you all for watching. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so at www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. And uh, from now until the 19th, you can get 15% off on the entire store. So this includes personal readings, tarot cards, uh, sage wands, feather wands, um, smudge bowls, whatever I have on my shop. Um, it's 15% off. So that's actually a really good savings. And so um, also, if you're interested in my tea, um, you can go to foxytees.com and get 25% off um, using the coupon code T25. And my teas are amazing, guys. They're organic loose leaf tea. And if you don't have an infuser, it comes with filter bags. So you don't have to worry about, you know, purchasing uh, that separately. I'll give it to you for free. So thank you again. And I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you uh, more clarity on your personal situation. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.